Welcome to another Ron Johnson video vlogs. First time tuning in, my name is Ron Johnson, and what I do is I help people that are tired of who they are and where they're in life. You're looking to create better relationships with yourself and people around you, this is where I can help. So today's topic is a little personal, and it comes down to what do we do when we're utterly fatigued physically, mentally? What do we do? Do we just keep going? So I'm taking a little example about something. As I've gone through this transition in my life from becoming a trainer to now full-time coaching and just taking faith over fear and just going all in, um, one thing I do love doing as part of my characteristics is the love of learning. I love to learn new things. I love to have curiosity. And also in addition to that, I just started going to a brand new gym which supports my environment of working out hard, getting stronger, just the energy is so much better. But recently I became an NLP practitioner and now I'm studying positive psychology so I can become a positive psychology practitioner because the more positivity we have in life, the better our happiness and success we have in life. That's the main key there. But I started noticing Monday night, I did not sleep at all. I was up and down. I would say I only slept probably three hours. It's like I went to bed at 8.30. I woke up at 11, went to bed, woke up at 1.30, went to bed, woke up at 3.30, woke up, went to bed, woke up at 4.30. I was in utter fog. Next thing you know, yesterday, I had a migraine. I just want to eat sweets because you want to feel good. So when you're going through trials, tribulations, or frustrations, the body experiences different things. It could be tiredness. It could be headache. It could be fatigue. It could be a lot of different things. In my case, for most of us, I was screaming sweets. I want to feel good. So I needed that positive reinforcement of sugar, serotonin, dopamine into my body. Oh, I felt good. And so I realized this morning what was happening is that I'm pushing myself so hard to not only educate myself, but change myself. In addition to that, make these videos that were there for you guys. Make these videos so that way I can give you great information. Because what the body, sorry, what the mind experience, the body experience itself. So I'm experiencing something in my head, I'm body experiencing, which is I'm fatigued, I have a migraine, I'm craving sugar, I'm tired, don't know why I can't sleep, can't get out of bed. I, have, I used to read my book every day, at least a, a chapter. I don't read it in the morning anymore. I wake up about 4.30, I have the gratefulness, and I go to um, my computer, I start working on my uh, schoolwork, and now it's like, ah. Oh, so what do you do? What I want you to consider is every time you're going through these kind of avenues in life is I want you to take a step back and say, okay, where in my life have I been pushing it past the barrier just to get something done? And how is it affecting me physically? And I want you to start backwards. So in this case, I figure I'm pushing myself hard to get more education, push myself hard to start my business, shoot these videos, shoot my audios on um, LinkedIn, do all these things, and I'm not taking enough self-care. I'm meditating, of course. I'm appreciating gratitude, but not self-care for myself. So what I'm going to do today, no gym. I usually go to gym every day. I want to take a step back and take time for myself because the more energy I take time for myself, the more I have for everybody else around me. So always take care of yourself for So find out what's going on in your life that you're pushing past hard, regroup, reset, and push forward again. Again, if you're looking to have better relationships with yourself and everybody around you, I want you to go to www.ronjohnsoncoaching.com, bing, hit the discover call button, or bing, join one of my master class, and let's co-create a better life for yourself today. Thanks for listening.